I'm Lori Blakeman and I have proposed Bill 202, the Safe and Inclusive Schools Statutes Amendment Act 2014. And I need your help to get this bill passed. So we will run numbers on the screen for you to phone or look on the internet for who your MLA is. And once you know, we'll give you additional information on how to contact them and tell them that you want your MLA to vote in support of this bill. Section 33 talks about board responsibilities. So as you can see, there's a long, long, long part about what a board should do. They should uh, provide education. They should be accountable. They should have a budget. They should have elections. They should hire a superintendent, etc., etc., all the way down. And the second section under 33 says, a board shall establish, implement, and maintain a policy respecting the board's obligation under subsection 1D to provide a welcoming, caring, respectful, and safe learning environment that includes the establishment of a code of conduct for students that addresses bullying behavior. And then it goes on to talk about how that code of conduct and what it should do. So what I'm proposing is this is the section to put gay-straight alliances into. And you can see that this Education Act is quite different from what we've had before. The fact that it already has a clause in it that is referring to diversity and acceptance and tolerance is a big step forward. But I want to make sure that we're including all kids, and particularly the high-risk kids we have, from sexual minorities and kids with gender identity, and make sure that that high-risk group is included and has a peer support group to help them so they're less likely to commit suicide. That's what's at the bottom of all of this. 2.1. A policy established under subsection 2 must accommodate students who want to establish and lead activities and organizations that promote the awareness and understanding of a positive school environment that is inclusive, welcoming, and respectful for all students regardless of sexual orientation or gender identity. And use the name Gay Straight Alliance or any other name that is consistent with the principles set out in Clause A. 2.2. For greater certainty, neither a board nor a principal shall refuse to allow a student to use the name Gay Straight Alliance or a similar name for an organization described in subsection 2.1. The point of this is we've already doing all this work. Let's just open the doors a bit more and allow these kids to develop a peer support group if they ask for it. My concern here is we've got a group of high-risk students who commit suicide at unbelievably high rates. And gay straight alliances have shown to reduce that suicide rate by 40%. Now why wouldn't we do something if we knew we could reduce the suicide rate of a particular group by 40%? So thanks very much to listening to this one. Uh, there are three others that help to explain the other sections in the bill, and you can find those online. Thanks very much.